Why do things float? It depends upon two things. Weight, how heavy something is, and volume, how much space it takes up. To understand why things float, it helps to understand why things sink. First, let's put a bowling ball in a bucket of water. Let's pause. The bowling ball and the water can't be in the same place at the same time. The water has to move out of the way to make room for the bowling ball. This is called displacement. It means being pushed out of place. So, as the ball goes down, it pushes the water up. Once the ball is completely underwater, it has all the space it needs. Then the water stops moving up. The volume of the displaced water is the same as the volume of the ball. But volume is not what makes the ball sink. The ball sinks because it's heavy. This bowling ball weighs 12 pounds. Water weighs something, too. A bowling ball-sized chunk of water weighs about 10 pounds. The water wants to return to its original level, but there's a 12-pound bowling ball in the way. Since the bowling ball is heavier than the displaced water, the bowling ball has more sinking power. Now, what if we replace the bowling ball with something lighter, like a balloon? This balloon is the same size or volume as the bowling ball, but it weighs much less. Now we have 10 pounds of water pushing down on a very light balloon. The water is heavier than the balloon, so the water sinks, forcing the balloon up. Now the balloon is floating on top. Or is it? The balloon doesn't weigh much, but it does weigh something. If you look closely, you'll see it's displaced just a little water. The water it displaced weighs the same as the balloon. Boats work the same way. Boats are heavy, but they are also very large, and a lot of that space is just air. Because boats are so large, they displace an enormous volume of water. All that water is heavy. The boat can't push down more than its own weight, so the weight of the water keeps it afloat. So, to recap, an object floats if the water it displaces weighs as much as the object. If the object weighs more than the displaced water, then the object sinks.